Hello and welcome to yet another video by New York Stilo and today we're going to cover the addition of two new snowflake Ocellaris clownfish to this tank. Quite rare and expensive clownfish. We're going to do a quick close up and talk about them and although I'm extremely happy about these new additions, it's sad for me to report that the reason why I got these clownfish was because my female clownfish that I had in this tank before Nike, uh, she passed away you know due to unknown reasons i'm not sure how it happened it's it's a freak of nature because everything else in this tank was doing rather well including its partner which was peace and part and peace has been moved from this tank to the 30 gallon nano system we're going to cover the 30 in a future video and i'm going to show that to you guys and everything that's been going on uh, with that tank and you know i posted a picture of nike dead on my Facebook page sometime in December and gotten an overwhelming amount of support from a lot of my viewers. Uh, Nike was rather popular here on YouTube for those of you who watch my videos. Had that clownfish for two years and I remember when it was living in the sump refugium uh, my old do-it-yourself sump refugium I used to get uh, messages from people telling me how could you do that to that fish how could you keep that fish in a refugium when in fact um, a refugium is intended to do exactly what it is called a refuge area for plants and animals that would otherwise be subjected to fighting uh, predators and, and stuff like that so you know I kept it in that sump refugium area uh, Nike and as a matter of fact I actually went and built and bought the 30 gallon nano system for that fish so you could just imagine how much Nike meant to me but you know I hope that she rested in peace and I thank each and every one of you for all the overwhelming support and here in this video we're gonna zoom in now uh, to the new clownfishes. I am very excited about them because I was able to get them for a decent price considering that these fish are rather expensive. Now I have some concerns here and we're gonna zoom in and the clowns have taken um, a home to this area here where the gold torch coral is. Now this is one of the concerns that I'm having as we speak and you can see them coming out there. Really nice clowns. I mean I can't complain. Got them at Live Aquaria and paid 199 bucks for them. Now I know that that sounds like a lot to some of you but they are rather rare and we're gonna talk about where you can get some information on these types of clownfish. Now I have some concerns here. Number one being that the clowns have taken to the gold torch coral here and prevent are preventing it somewhat. Let me see if we could zoom in just a little bit closer here. I think there you guys can uh, uh, see it well. Now, you know, they've taken to the gold torch coral and they're preventing it from opening the way it was opening before. So. I went ahead and posted more pictures of these new clowns in the uh, Facebook page and gotten some really awesome suggestions from my viewers. Some of you suggested, okay, well, if they, if they took to the gold torch coral, why not remove the gold torch coral and hope that they're going to take to the uh, rose bubble tip anemone. That's an excellent idea and one that I may actually do here, although not immediately. I'm going to allow these clownfish to stay in this tank and get used to hosting the, the gold torch coral and then remove it in the hopes that it, 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 you know, it's going to take to the rose bubble tip anemone. However, I even got some even better suggestions from some people who said, well, if you remove the gold torch coral, it may actually move up and try to host the hammer and this is a possibility and another great um, suggestion from my viewers and if that happens I'm just gonna have to take away each and every one of these LPS corals from the tank in the hopes that uh, these clownfishes are actually gonna take to the rose anemone now I don't know yet and this is only if I decide to go that route because I am noticing that the clowns have been in the tank for two days now and you can see that the the coral is opening up 
you know, it's not opening up fully, but if it does end up opening up fully, I may just leave it as it is. I want to try to encourage these clowns to spawn and may even move the gold torch coral more towards the corner of the tank in the hopes that they're probably gonna spawn on the glass. They like that flat surface area, you know, to uh, be able to uh, lay their eggs there. And I'm really, I'm just overwhelmed overwhelmingly excited here uh, with these new clowns excellent additions now those of, for those of you who want to um, are thinking about getting these clowns uh, you can get some great information here on the following website I'm gonna show you guys okay so this is the website here and it's called aura and it's ocean reefs and aquariums awesome awesome company here which aquacultures these animals and distributes them to the retailers so the retailers can sell them to you now we're currently at the home page and if you want visit this website and gather some information here uh, for the time being we're gonna click on products here and here you're gonna see the different species of fish uh, SPS corals softies invertebrates algae and uh, some dry goods they offer here for the time being, we're going to click on Aura Fish and you're going to see the different uh, fish here that they aquaculture and distribute. And we're interested here in the Aura Clowns. Now, once we enter the clown section here, you're going to see all the different types and species of clowns that they aquaculture here. Some information down below. Now, at the top here, now we're talking about some pricey clowns here. The Picasso's up top here, the platinum one, very pricey. And down here, you've got the snowflake ones. Now, here, the Picasso's do know that these fish are graded. And depending on how much white they have and the pattern that they have, you know, they can be bumped up to premium and more rarer. Uh, species of these clowns and so they've got the premium ones and then they've got the regular ones when it comes to the Picassos here same applies down below to the premium snowflakes and uh, you know the regular snowflakes not the one that I have here is the regular ones and you can click here and you're gonna see a picture of course and down below you're gonna see some information as to where uh, these fish come from how they were bred how rare they are and uh, you know it's just a really informative website here now the premium ones this is a picture of a premium snowflake clown now these can be so expensive I mean we're talking 350 bucks all the way up to 500 bucks easy and I've seen them for even more than that now these in particular here it's got some information down below and it covers down below that these are basically expensive you know because of their elite status I mean some of these even display sort of like a blue hue around the edges here and although mines are not the premium ones i did notice that uh, you know one of the uh snowflakes that i have in my tank as we speak has some of these blue patterns on them and i was able to obtain mines for 199 so if you see them for that price guys and your tank is mature and you've been in the hobby for at least six months and you want to give it a try i say go ahead and try these clowns here now here at the top you've got the picassos information is also available to these as well uh, you know and it's just i'm extremely excited uh, these here uh, the platinum ones i'm not a big fan of these i i find them to be a little i, I don't know strange and so you know and expensive too these can run anywhere between 500 and i've seen them even for more but if you do see these uh, snowflakes and the Picassos and you can get your hands on them, highly recommend them, especially if they're from Aura. Now, I want to let you guys know that there are many more videos to come. I've got a list of about 40 different videos I've got to cover and actually have some uh, products here on the side of which I will be talking about in the near future. Bio pellets being one of the most common topics and questions being sent out to me. On a daily basis here and with me and those of you who have been following my videos you guys know that I can't give you a recommendation unless I try it myself now 
I've gotten a lot of subscribers who have told me uh, mixed reviews about them. Some have been using it for six months and say that there's, there's still nitrates and phosphate problems. Others have reported that they swear by it. Others have reported that there's more nuisance algae growth. I'm gonna put these to the test like I did with the Miracle Mud videos. And eventually, sometime down the line, three to six months after testing them out, Thoroughly, I will give you my recommendation. I'm also gonna cover some of these coral foods here. And although I do not feed my SPS corals, I am going to start feeding them just to see if I see a difference by using these foods. Uh, one of them being Coral Frenzy, Cyclopes, many more videos to come, guys. Glad and excited about the fact that I got these clowns here. Um, many more videos to come, uh, you know, I, I appreciate each and every one of your support. If you can, uh, you know, do comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. Give me your opinion on these clowns. I want to hear what you guys got to say. If you think they're too much, if you think they're not too much, if you think they're worth it, post your comments down below. This is New York Stilo signing out. Peace.